Tufts University severs ties with family behind OxyContin. Boston, AP, Tufts University is cutting ties with the billionaire family that owns OxyContin maker Purdue Pharma, saying it will strip the Sackler name from its campus and accept no further donations amid concerns over the family's role in the opioid crisis. University officials announced the decision Thursday, ending a relationship that has spanned nearly four decades and brought $15 million to the school's science and medical programs. Tufts leaders said they considered the issue for more than a year before concluding it is inconsistent with the school's values to display the family's name. We had to deal with the reality that the Sackler name has become associated with a healthcare epidemic. Given our medical school's mission, we needed to reconcile that, Peter Dolan. Chairman of Tufts Board of Trustees, said in an interview. A firm that represents the Sackler family did not immediately respond to a message seeking comment. The change was announced at the same time officials released findings from an outside review examining the school's ties with the Sacklers and Purdue Pharma. The inquiry, commissioned by the school, found no major wrongdoing but concluded there was an appearance of too close a relationship between Purdue, the Sacklers and Tufts. The family's ties with Tufts date to 1980, when the three founding brothers of Purdue Pharma provided a donation to establish the Sackler School of Graduate Biomedical Sciences. Tufts separately named its medical school building after one of the brothers, Arthur, after he made a donation in 1983. Arthur Sackler's wife, Gillian, served on the university's board of trustees for a decade starting in 1986. And Richard Sackler, a Purdue board member and former CEO sat on the medical school's board of advisors for nearly two decades until he left in 2017. Officials said the Sackler name will now be dropped from all campus facilities and programs, including the Biomedical Sciences School, the medical school, a laboratory and two research funds. A sign bearing Arthur Sackler's name on the facade of the medical school was being removed Thursday. Tufts joins a growing number of colleges seeking distance from the Sackler family amid pressure from students and activists. Several have stopped accepting gifts from the family, including Cornell and Yale universities. Others, including Brown University, said they will redirect past donations to support addiction treatment. An Associated Press review in October found that prestigious universities around the world accepted at least $60 million from the Sacklers over the past five years. Some critics say schools should return the money so it can be used to help cities and states harmed by the opioid crisis. Past donations to Tufts will continue to be used for their original purpose. Offer more on this story, visit the news article link.